What's up guys, this is a quick video on using a Mac Mini as a home server. Uh, people are gonna laugh at this, but honestly, it's really not that bad of a device. It's very low power, hardware software, it's you know pretty ro robust and reliable, and uh, it runs Unix, so you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Um, bought this in 2014 as kind of like a dev, dev server and such, and uh, I was using it as a NAS for a, for a few years, but I'm actually gonna build a uh, an unraid system, so hey, I thought, why not make this a kick-ass home server for my parents. So people who are like over 60, they don't really need anything crazy, but I figured it, for what it is, it's it's a really good device. I bought this thing with eight gigs of RAM standard and I installed a Samsung 250 gig SSD and one of the most reliable SSDs. And then I just did Command R for a boot and boom. You know, this is really cool from an IT standpoint. It just, you don't have to fiddle with USB drives and such. It's just really, really, out of the box, great. So, nothing too crazy, go to control panel, sharing settings, and you can do your run-of-the-mill file share. Also, time machine, I have a USB drive hooked up, so it's just a matter of creating a folder and then going to, you gotta right click here, advanced options, and then boom, here's where you get to control the, the file si sizes for remote time machine. So both my parents own a Mac, totally wireless backup, set it and forget it. It's you really can't complain. So yeah, that's it in a nutshell. You've got content sharing. Now, this is funny because people don't really think about this, but this, the Mac Mini can be used to cache content on the network. So if you have frequent photos and music, you could easily just have it cached on the Mac Mini, or even up software updates for your Apple devices. So that way it's not constantly pulling the internet. It can just do it from right here. So that's a really cool feature. I also highly recommend these settings. Make sure your computer doesn't go to sleep. And I have automatic login, so that way the, uh, the unified controller can start up. And um, I also use Splashtop. Um, I know Apple has their own thing, but it's kind of really finicky. And Splashtop lets me access it basically anywhere. One final note, it runs pretty cool and quiet for the most part, but it, I highly recommend mounting this vertically, maybe getting a wall mount and hooking it, like drilling it onto like a board of some sort. So that way the heat radiates up. Uh, when I did that, it ran extremely, extremely cool. Didn't hear a thing out of it. It was a really, really neat trick that no one really tells you about. The only other uses I'm gonna do with this, I mean, you could set a print server and then let's say you have a laser printer like this and you wanna make it an air print compatible printer. That's an option too called Handy Print. I'll put it in the description, but yeah, in this case, all we're gonna do with this is set up Plex, so for our home movies, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna install Unify as a controller on here. So I have gigabit files, so there's really no need to switch from the router, because um, they also have TV. I don't wanna complicate things, but I do have several access points and switches in their home, so this is kinda cool. I could basically set this up as a controller on the device and then boom. I'm trying to get into also home automation, but I'm not sure to what extent they want to do with this. So that's in a nutshell. Other stuff that you guys do for your Mac mini server, drop it in the comment below and uh, let me know.